Welcome to the advice show, Meteor, the Common Sense Approach. So there's a man by the name of Nathan Inner. He's from Texas, and he's very upset what happened to the Harris County Sheriff's Deputy, but most people that know about that have an issue with that incident. Well, this man decides to take to the internet and threaten black America, black activists, different groups like the New Black Panther Party, Black Lives Matter, any other black person that decides to stand up against things that are just blatantly wrong. Let me go ahead and roll the clip. Hi, right, this is Nathan Nenner from Hemphill, Texas. If you don't like cussing, go ahead and cut this video off now or get your kids out of the room because I'm very pissed off. i give you time to do that for just a minute. Okay, I want to talk to you about what happened in Harris County where this black thug went up and just executed a, a, a deputy because he was a white deputy because he was a law enforcement officer. It's going to end, and it's going to end with that. That's not going to happen anymore. That's the end of it. Y'all have pushed us to the limit, and we ain't going to take it no more. They stuff that us citizens can do, and we're fixing to do them, starting now. That black guy, he pulled the trigger on that cop, but he really ain't the one that actually killed the cop. The one that killed him was these Black Panthers and all these black thugs that comes to your town and marches and hollers oink oink bang bang and all that retarded shit. You know, they're the ones that's responsible for it. Them and people like like oh, uh, uh, Farrakhan wanting, wanting 10,000 volunteers to track people down, cops and all that and kill them. Starting now, we holding these people responsible. Like I said, it stops now. Don't ever let a Black Panther or any black group come to your town and march in that town and get done and be able to get in their vehicle and leave. That's over with. And law enforcement, I'm talking to you now. When we get there and we're going to be there, step aside. Do not try to stop us because our fight is not with you. It's for you. Now, I'm going to tell you old people, grandmas, grandpas, kids, all of you can get in on this. When there's a Black Panther group going to head to a town and they're going to rally and holler, kill cops, kill cops, law enforcement, you put it out and you let people know they're coming. And all you older people that wants to get involved, i got something for you. This is called a slang shot. You go to Walmart and you get it. Okay, when these Black Panthers come to your town to start with, they have to drive a vehicle. Well, that's where you start at. You disable them vehicles. You pepper their ass with, with rocks. You bust the windshields out. You stop them vehicles from running. When them Panthers has to walk and run out of town, they will not come back to your town. You people do that. Me, I will be there. If I have to be there by myself, I will, but I don't think I have to. All you guys like me that's able to stand up and fight, we gonna be there. Long as the law enforcement lets us know they're coming. And we're gonna push them Panthers out of town. Never again will they stand in a street in Texas or anywhere else and holler, kill cops, kill cops. Them son of a bitches, their days are over with. And I'm not just talking today, I'm telling you. I'm gonna be there. And all you other people wanna get involved, Get that damn slang shot. Nobody's ever went to jail for a slang shot. Y'all get that slang shot. Get you some damn rocks. And when they come out in that street, y'all go, we we'll give you a few minutes to pepper their ass. You light them up like they got mumps and measles when they go home with all the bumps and knots all over their asses. They won't come back. And what's left of them, myself and some other people, will take care of that. Because we have had enough. There won't be another killing in Texas. I can promise you that. It might be a killing, but it won't be what you think. There won't be no more cops executed in the state of Texas. And like I said, you law enforcement officers, step the hell aside. Do not get in front of me. Do not try to stop any of us. Because we're doing this shit for you and for ourselves. What happened, happened to the law enforcement, and it also happened to us. And we're not going to take it anymore. We're done with it. It ends. It ends now. And it ends in the state of Texas, you sons of bitches. You black 
Panthers and you thugs, you uh, Black Lives Matter bullshit, you bunch of freaking retards, you better run and you better hide. Because we're looking at videos, we're pulling names and addresses, and we're going to hunt you sons of bitches down. Because we're pissed off. And ain't nobody going to stop us now, you dirty bastard. Last freaking thing, some of you son of bitches are here, is that noise right there when we come in your goddamn house. Don't ever threaten another cop in Texas. Don't ever threaten another white person. And you black bastards, you goddamn panthers and shit, try to come to another town and try to march. See what happens to you, because I ain't playing. And I'll tell you something else, I got a bunch of mail from Hempstead, Texas, where you want to rename a street Sandra Bland Street. You know, that ain't happening. You people in Hempstead, don't let them put name your street after a freaking thug. We're not going to stoop that low. Sandra Bland had a, had a rap sheet a mile long. She was full of dope, disrespectful embarrassment to her, to, to Hempstead, Texas, and hung her damn self. Well, let me tell you something. A thug's life don't matter. We don't give a shit about you damn thugs. A black life, a white life, police life, a rebel life, a, 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 a redneck life, all our lives matter. Every life except for a freaking thug. Your life don't matter. And you sons of bitches, you fixing to find out how it don't matter. Because you done pissed us off, you bunch of bastards. Now, I am scared. I am highly scared of Nathan. Nathan, please don't come to my house, kick down my door, and have just a good old-fashioned clan rally. Please don't do that. But, but this is the thing. You remember what I told a lot of you? Part of what I like to do is to marginalize a racist, make them look silly. And when I have anything in my possession or something out there that you guys send to me, I'm going to have fun with it. Well, Nathan, that he's so tough and he wants to threaten black America. I want you to watch a video that he tried to play that with brother Quanell X. Watch what happened. Let me go over the clip. You need to learn. You just need to learn. And guess what? Let me take you. Can you talk about your economy, bro? We don't need your economy. We need everything else. You got to put your dollar in for shit. I'm not brother. I'm that brother that was with your ass. Bring it on. And let me tell you something about me. Let me tell you something about me. I'm different, okay? I'm not the one you play with. I'm not playing. I'm chasing him. I got him. No, 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 she I know down. why you upset. No, you don't. I know why you no, upset. You don't. You're I know why you upset. You got a right to you be angry. No, I would here, be too if I was you. How hard? Both me, I'm How hard, one. Mr. Redneck? I'm that one. I don't do this. I'll get with you. Yeah. I sure will. That's good. I'll get with you too. You, you, you don't think so? You wouldn't even stand it, buddy. Okay. You What's your name, it. sir? You got I my heart in the sheriff, dude. Trust me. At least you can stand outside by the You might want to me up. I'll break your ass. I man. already did. I well, thank you. So you don't want to play with me. Don't, don't play. Don't play. You a tough one, huh? What about your sheriff? I'm upset about your daughter. Why you sure you ain't got the power? Why don't you go tell y'all good old boys, right? Y'all the good old boys, right? See what? See what? Y'all know why you upset? What? You wonder why you upset? You don't want to know what happened. Why you upset, dude? Let me tell everybody right now. Let me tell everybody right now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hold on. You know what happened? Let me tell everybody right now. You know what happened? Your daughter said you know what happened. You know why you know what happened? You know why you're upset? Your daughter said you know what happened. I got the post. You want me to go get it? You know what happened? I got your so your daughter didn't say that you know what happened. No. Your daughter didn't say that. We have your own daughter's words. Yeah, Come on. We have Ashley's word. See? Ashley yeah. Enner. We have Ashley's word. See? We know why you upset. He said because he your knows. daughter like black coffee, no sugar, no cream. That's why you that upset. Cool. Uh, it eating you up, ain't it? It eating you up, ain't it? That she likes a black man. That's what you upset about. That's why we know your daughter's name. That's why you hurt. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. 
Ben. I know it hurts. Ben, does any of my people, I know it hurts. any of my family like black? I know it hurts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got he hurts. Ashley does. Hey, Ashley does. Now let me tell you something, Pecker Wood. Let me tell you something. I will whoop your ass, punk. And we know one. And we know one. Trust me. And we know. Oh, I know. I don't put you. And we know one. I'm I don't not, I'm that one. And, and, and we know you. And, and we know you. If someone gets caught at your house, they'll be phoned out the next morning. Hold on. I don't need no help. I don't need no help. I don't need no help. I will break don't you, partner. Your daughter like black me. Bottom line. That's why you upset. See, that's why that's the that's investigation would have been done all this stuff that came out. Because your daughter, like your daughter like black me. That ain't no rumor. That's from your daughter. Your daughter sent that to Apple's wife. Your daughter sent that post to your Apple's wife. That's what you upset about. And you didn't tell him to the FBI would record. That's what you upset about. I asked him and he knew what happened. That's what you upset about. I ain't upset. Tell her we said hi. Tell her we said hi. Tell her we said hi. Hey, that man can say what he want to say. She told us. That man can say what he want to say. on the internet now. That man can say what he want to say. That's what you mad about. No criminal things. That's right. That's no right. justice. You no justice. Right. No justice. No peace. No justice. He's part of the conspiracy. He's no one of the goddamn murderers. He needs to be investigated. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan, talk to me, Nathan. What happened? Your brother Quanell told you about your daughter, right? You hate black people. And your own daughter is sitting up there, like Quanell said. She want black coffee, no sugar, no cream. Wait, did you see the look on Nathan's face when Quanell told him that? Let's roll that clip one more time. That's why you hurt. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. Ben. I know it hurts. Ben. Does any of my people, I know it hurts. Any of my family like black? I know it hurts. That is just awesome to me. Quanell, you did a great thing. That is better than getting in his face. That is better than wanting to hit him. Because the look on his face was priceless. He shook him so much when he said that. You saw how he turned and looked and he was like, do anybody in my family fool black people? Paraphrasing, of course. I mean, he couldn't believe it. And that's the thing about those racists. You hate black people so much. But you know what? This is what I'm going to say to all of you that decide to watch this video. I'm going to pull a Miss Seeley. Until you do right by black people, I hope every one of your daughters have babies by the blackest black man in America and that you can't do nothing about it till you do right by us. That's what I would say to you racist. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But you're so talking tough on the video. And I was wondering why you kept talking about the new black Panther party because black lives matter is the name. Everybody keeps saying a little bit more than the black Panther party, but now I'll get it. Quanell and the Black Panther Party made you like a fool. It made you look stupid that he knew your daughter's name and that he knew your daughter like black men. Boy, I tell you what, that's the one thing racists cannot stand is black penis envy. Oh, they can't stand it. That's why a lot of black men, when they was hung and stuff like that, they cut off their genitals and all this other stuff. Envy of the black man it is evil. But hey, it is what it is. I laugh about it when it comes to racists. If you're not racist, I'm not speaking to you. But those who are racist, I love it. I love it every minute of this video. Quanell, you did a good thing to a guy that's trying to present himself like some sort of savage, some sort of thug, because he's a thug himself, sitting up there uh, with a gun and all this other stuff. What you think? Black people don't have guns? I mean, come on now. I mean, please. Why you think you're going to do what you want to do? And tell people to get a slingshot. You see what happens when you're by yourself, you get punked out and made to look like a fool. That's why you need a crowd. And most of those races like that, they need a crowd and they need a gun. Cause if it's a one-on-one -on -one thing, they not going to do nothing. You know, they, cause they cowards to the core. That's part of who they are. But you know, this video just cannot be the best thing ever to happen to a racist to get on like this by guess what? A black man. Hit me up in the comments, use the commentaries, subscribe.